and eventually turned the camera on on myself, and we were what became a personal style blog. But now I definitely consider myself an entrepreneur because not only am I an influencer, but I'm also a designer, a tech entrepreneur, an advisor, an investor, and a handful of other things. I think I've sort of branded myself as this you know, native New Yorker, this young entrepreneur, 20-something, just trying to make it in the city like everyone else. And so being this perfect mix of relatable and aspirational is something that I focused on and I think has helped with the longevity of my career. The best piece of advice I would give to someone who wants to do what I do is to find a niche and a space in the market that doesn't exist because it is a very oversaturated industry and it's hard to stand out, so you have to be different. I've pretty much grown up with my followers. I've grown up on my Instagram and in the public eye as far as my style developing, uh, my personal growth, and I've shared that with my readers along the way. A big moment for me was surpassing a million followers. It was sort of a milestone and a point that I wanted to reach. I, I think it happened overnight, actually. So I guess I woke up to a million followers, which was an awesome moment. And two million followers happened on New Year's this year. So they were both really cool moments and great celebratory opportunities. And my friends actually threw me a surprise party, which was awesome. So I deal with criticism in a number of ways. I definitely think haters mean you're doing something right, but it can get emotional and it gets hard to see the hateful comments. And then on the other hand, I ask my followers, what can I be doing better? What can I be doing differently? And I take that as constructive criticism and my followers power my business. So I really take what they say seriously. The uncertainty of a social media career definitely was something that I think motivated me to keep going and to every day get up, make it as nine to five as possible, have a content calendar. I have a team that I work with. So even if I'm working from home, I got up every day and got dressed like I was going to the office. And I think it definitely helped to sort of validate and, and make it more official. If you're trying to spearhead your own way into a new industry, I would say be a disruptor. You have to disrupt the industry. I mean, influencers disrupted the fashion industry and created a whole new sector of it. So definitely look for a way to change it in a positive way.